Hello, hello, Chandra Zas, Zen Odyssey. We are picking up our Tesla today. It is super exciting. If you've never heard of me, then please go ahead and like and share and subscribe to my channel wherever you're hearing this. We're gonna make a really fun video of us getting our Tesla today. We're really excited. This wasn't planned. We literally found out yesterday that we were gonna get our Tesla today. One of the things I wanna like tie into how I make this video is talking about how important emotions are and how important generating useful emotions are and how our emotions played a role in us getting our Tesla now as opposed to a month from now. Welcome. Here is your hostess and coach, Chandra Zoss, helping people make food and mood changes doable without missing out. Go ahead, high five that like button, subscribe and share while you're there. We're on our way, we're in our car, we're in my brother's car, driving to Corte Madera in California to pick up our Tesla in the next like 40 minutes or something. And we're super excited. And we haven't been excited the entire time. So the backstory on our Tesla is that we are also in line to get the Cybertruck. We signed up the first day the Cybertruck came out. As if you know Tesla, you know the Cybertrucks are being pushed out. And last October when we were in Israel, we, my husband had the idea, this is my husband Stav, he had the idea to get in line for the Model Y for potentially when we came back to California sometime in the springtime. We weren't really sure what our plans were. And we got in line for the Model Y in last October and our really good friend also signed up for the Model Y within a few days of us. They received their car in January and in we had the scheduled time to pick up our car in March, which was okay. We were not in the country, so it was okay that we were waiting a little bit longer. And then our flight, we were gonna fly back to the US May 20th, and we thought we were gonna get the car early May. We thought all oh, this was gonna work out. And then every in starting in May, our our pickup day just kept getting bumped till later and later and later. And we're like, what the heck? So we rent a car, and I don't know if you guys have rented cars lately, but it's expensive to rent a car these days. It's The prices are through the roof. So we're paying for a rental car, and we just keep watching our delivery date bumped and bumped and bumped. We had this point person, Matt, from the very beginning. We first signed up for our car. We had this point person, and the last few months, he was like not responding, and he, when I called his voicemail, he was saying that he was in spotty service, and to call the main Tesla place. Like basically we kind of lost our point person. And I tried to call from Israel, but I couldn't really get through and my phone was really staticky. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, I wasn't able to talk to anybody at Tesla until we landed in the States and we watched our delivery date get bumped again. And I was really upset and I was like, I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna talk to a human and I'm gonna call them. And I tried calling and they didn't, their, the number didn't answer anything. It just went to nothing and took some hours off and did some breathing and really thought about like, one of the things that I, amazing video editor. I'm I not sure it. about the audio today, but <laughs> you will suffer. The iPhone's through. amazing. It'll, it'll hopefully be good enough. I was about to call Tesla and I did call the first time and kind of an upset, angry energy of like, this isn't fair. What's happening? And luckily they didn't pick up. I have come to really take the mindset of like, when things don't go right, instead of going into the energy of like, it's going wrong, it's not working out, this is not supposed to be, which creates this like negative energy. I've really learned to like interrupt myself and say like, wait a minute, what if there's a gift in this? What if there's a silver lining? And so I stepped into that energy and I reminded myself, maybe this is how it's exactly how it's meant to be. Maybe there's something really cool that's gonna come out of this. And by the afternoon when I called Tesla again, and I got through to this amazing angel named James. And I started the call by in this like very like vulnerable and humble and really this like open hearted request for help. And even when they, there was like a recording that says, what, what is the purpose for this call? Please say it in a few words. And I was like, help. <laughs> I talked to James and I just like open-heartedly like shared our story like I shared my friends got his Tesla we're renting a car like can, is there anything you can do to help us and at the very end of the conversation which was more than an hour later 
I was like extremely grateful for his help. And I was just like, wow, you know, I almost came into this call really upset and angry and I'm so thankful for your help. And he's like, yeah, probably if you had come in that way, we probably would have been like, yeah, there's nothing we can do to help you. And it was, I mean, I know that like my, my partner calls me like blue eyes moves, even on the phone when people don't see my blue eyes, he's like, you have a way of talking to people. And I have to say that a lot of it is really centered around that openness and that humanness and not coming in entitled and angry and upset, even though I also have those inclinations, but really coming from that place of like, I'm a human, you're a human. How can we figure this out? And people help me all the time on the phone. They do crazy things to help me when I come with that energy. It's, I think it's a really human natural thing and we can all get there and we can all do that. And it's super, super helpful. So the other really cool piece of this story, talking to James on the phone for an hour, is he really, really, like the customer service with Tesla, once we were in contact with James was amazing. It was, it has been for, we've been talking to James for over a week now, week and a, 10 days? More than a week. And he's just been incredible. It's been a really, really pleasant experience. And one of the cool things that I found out when I was on the phone, that first phone call with James, is I was saying how much we love Tesla, and my, my partner is like a massive Tesla fan. Massive? Massive. Tesla, Tesla fan? Okay. So massive. I mentioned in the in the phone call with James that my partner's thinking about applying for Tesla, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we totally need like really good help. We need talent. I think he said talented help. And I was like, yeah, he's going to apply after he gets his green card. And he was like, well, I don't know. I was like, maybe... Um, I know SpaceX won't take him as a foreigner, but he should just apply. And the interesting piece is that my partner had looked at the website a year ago and it had said on the banner, like, no, for, like only apply, accepting U.S. citizens. So then after talking to James, he went back and looked at the website and sure enough, that banner is gone and it looks like potentially they're accepting foreigners. So I feel like there's this really cool silver lining, this like gift out of the, out of the, not getting our car when we thought we were gonna get it. And the reason that we weren't getting our car, if there's those of you out there who are getting bumped in your timeline like we were, it's because our profile was not submitted. And so that was one of the first things that James realized. He was like, wow, he's like, we didn't communicate with you correctly. Um, it looks like there was a mistake on our end. And cause I was texting with someone and saying, is there anything else I need to do? And they were saying, no, just wait. And if we had just kept waiting and I didn't call in, we would have kept getting bumped because our profile wasn't submitted. So if your profile is not submitted and you're getting bumped, you should definitely look into that. And luckily, like James was so cool in like taking responsibility for Tesla making a mistake and giving us the wrong information. And so from there, he became really proactive and really helping us out and connecting us. And he has managed to help get us in a car today. So we returned our rental car this morning planning to not have a car for a week or two until our Tesla came. And 7.30 p.m. last night, we got the text message. Well, it started yesterday afternoon. We got the text message to do our loan and to turn in our insurance and to schedule our appointment. So we were all, you know, thinking sometime in the next week. Then 7.30 p.m. last night, we get the text message that says, would you like to pick up your Tesla car tomorrow? And we're like, yes. So now we are driving down. It's like a 45 minute drive from where we're in Sebastopol to of course Madeira to pick up our Tesla. It's so exciting. You want to say something? It's all about positive emotions. <laughs> it is. It's actually one. I mean, I have not been in the best of my emotions for the last couple of years and he has been the wise guy over here. And I really do mean wise. Like, reminding me, reminding us that like when we're in good vibes, like good things happen, like positive energy, like openness, like we can smell energy on each other. We can feel it when someone's ground, when we are, when we as humans are grounded and stable and open, doors open. There's just no way around it. You know, it's, I have a lot of compassion now for what it's like to be in bad energy and to be, in, I, I would even say in like surviving or trauma energy, which is a lot of what I went through in the last year and a half. And it's it's tough when you're there, in when we're there in, in bad energy. And it's tough to get out of there, but it's so important and it's so worth it. And it makes the world go round and it makes doors open and positive energy matters. Hello, my friend, how are you? 
I am in the Dead Sea floating in the water. Go ahead and like and share and follow so we can keep in touch. All right. So we're just about to pull up to our new Tesla car. We paused in a parking lot because we are, we were on the phone with my previous insurance and we wanted to get a quote to see how much it would cost for my previous insurance. For six months, it would cost $2,000 to insure our Tesla. So we went with Tesla's option of $124 a month. Seems way more reasonable. And we hear that if you're a good driver, you get your your monthly premium. price premium lowered. Something like as low as like 70 bucks a month for coverage. So we're gonna go, we just purchased our Tesla insurance from the app. The app is amazing, super user-friendly, really nice. And now we are three minutes away from picking up our Tesla, says our little Google Maps. And Not Google. We don't Google use Google. Sorry. We don't Maps. use Google. We don't use Google. My, my bad. We don't use Google. We don't use WhatsApp. We don't use, we use Apple and iPhone and security and Tesla. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll come back with the other view of our Tesla. What are the what are the positive emotions you're feeling? It was his idea to actually do the positive emotion video. What's the positive emotions? Well, you said it. When you. What are your positive emotions? What are my positive emotions? There is always a half cup uh, full. That's a thought. What's your emotion? <laughs> happy. Happy. What does happy feel like? Happy feet. Happy feet? Are your feet wiggling? What does happiness feel like to you? I'm putting him on the spot. He'll probably cut this out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> what does happiness feel like to you? That uh, everything is um, working and uh, we get what we want. That's S happiness. Still thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I teach, I, I teach, uh, I coach my clients with around, doesn't around, coach around me. emotions. I don't coach him is that emotions are physical vibrations. So they have like feelings in our body. They have like sensations. So like, you know, for me, when something sad happens, I actually feel like a little drop in my heart. Um, or like, you know, when something scary happens, I feel like a tightness in my body an alertness, like this upward energy, this intensity or love, you know, I'll feel this warmth in my chest. So what does happiness feel warmth like? Warmth in my chest. Warmth in your chest. <laughs> Tesla. It's quite, it's quite warm today. 100 degrees already. It's hot. All right. One minute. Should I turn the camera around? Definitely. Pulling up to get our car. We have I a don't see white, white on white car. I also don't see it. I see a white car there. I wonder if that one's ours. I love white. We're gonna get the truck probably in all black, but my favorite color is white. Maybe this. And I think that that's probably our car. Let's see if it is. Okay, Chandra, what's, uh, what are your positive emotions? I'm excited. Where do you feel them? I feel like a bubbly, like lightness in my chest and I feel this like upward energy in my face and I feel this bounce in my step. Nice, and let me. Let me picture you from this side. You look better. You look better with Tesla in the back. Tesla! We love our Tesla! Well, right now we only love the idea of it because it's not actually a manifestation, but we're about to actually see our physical Tesla and Okay, delivery check in. Let's do it! Let's go in. Let's go in. You're right, I'm It's smiling for you. It's winking, it's winking. I just open the door so the car doesn't relock itself. I just want to go. Take you guys out. If, take your time looking over the vehicle, interior and exterior. If you see anything wrong, good luck on that. He's got all the checklists. He's gonna he like did the research. He's gonna do the checklist. So now it's just and then we'll come back here. Yeah. Okay. Back here. See you guys there. What do you think? White on white. I thought the carpets were gonna be white. Uh huh. I thought the carpets were gonna be white. Mmm, smells horrible. 
<laughs> okay, let's check it. We will be back soon. Oh, these white seats. We are just going uh, through the checklist, and uh, actually, we got the checklist from a guy called Mike Seuss. He's an uh, interesting uh, Tesla owner, and he has a YouTube channel. So thanks, Mike. We got a seven-seater. You're in the process of checking the paint. Yeah, we got the seven-seater. Because we love having our friends and our family with us. We think that traveling is way... So I just want to make a little video from inside the Tesla. I am so excited to have this amazing car. One of my favorite features is this like ginormous glass roof. I wasn't, didn't really care that much about Tesla until we borrowed my friend's Tesla and I completely fell in love with the Tesla car. It is in a dream and an incredible car to drive. And since then, which I think was two years ago that I drove my friend's Tesla, I have been so excited to get first our get our Cybertruck and then that got postponed and now get our Y. And I've never really been that excited about cars. My first car was a Ford Mercure. And then my second car was a 87 BMW, which I really loved. I really loved that car. That was like a red little 325 I or E, I don't remember. And it had a sunroof and well, I had a lot of fun that car. That car got smashed. Somebody hit me from behind. And then I've had some other cars that were okay. But I think since that red, my red BMW, this is the first car I've been excited to have. It's really exciting. My partner and I, we have been buying and selling cars for the last several years because we've been moving around continents and lots of rental cars and we're so excited to like actually have our own car. Charging dock, all looking good. I've never really liked white cars but I'm really excited to have a white Tesla. I think mostly because we have white seats. I really love the white seats. I thought it was going to be all white inside which I'm a little bit sad that it's not all white. It doesn't close well. So one of the things on the checklist to check is how the doors open and close without any uh, f without an, an exuberant jump. amount of effort or noise. Maybe and this one, look. yeah, this one has a weird pop. What do you have there? We're not there yet. break. One of the really cool things I love about Tesla is no more oil and we get a frunk instead of an engine. It's pretty darn cool. It's a pretty big frunk. We got a little spot for windshield wiper fluid, but no more engine, no more combustible engine. What? Our last car that we owned in California was a 2000 Chevrolet truck, diesel truck. <laughs> I always felt like I was driving in the past. And now I feel like I'm gonna be driving in the future. It's super cool. We are now going to go check on some things that don't look quite right. There's a couple little tiny things. We're going to go talk to the guy. We're inside the Tesla! Getting ready for our first drive! I like the white. I think it's very sexy. Seven seater, white. We had two do bills. They made a note on our file that our passenger door is not shutting amazing. They think maybe it's the seals that need a little wearing in. And we also have a couple scuffs from the seven-seater going up and down that if it becomes a thing, then they're going to work on in the future. Everything else they... What about their emotions? I'm excited to drive it. Yeah, let's drive it. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah, that's the family. <laughs> so, can, Kalisa, can you repeat your first question of the Tesla? Please, can you um, put it... Now, uh, the, the Tesla fast. Fast. Well, the first question you asked was, can it drive itself? Which was a stellar question. Can you drive itself? But please, can we go fast? <laughs> and what do, you, go. what do you think about the, the roof, Kalista? What do you think about the roof? Cool. Cool? And I can see your backpack. Mommy. Oh yeah, you can see the reflection? 
Yeah. Nice. Can you see my car seat? Yeah, I can see you up here. Uh, not quite. No, we have here. What you do you think about the Tesla? Good. Good? Yay? From not having a car to having our Tesla. 24 hours.